Back to the phone lines. We'll talk next to Solomon. He's listening in Des Moines, Iowa. Hi, Solomon. Thanks, thanks for uh, taking my call. You're welcome. I had a question on, you know, being born again. I was having a discussion with uh, one of my friends on this, whether if he can be born again and kind of still continue kind of a sinful life, and, you know, especially in context of presumptuous sins. Uh, so I wanted to get your thoughts on that. Yeah, I don't think that Christians, by definition, are going to continue in sins without any repentance, because by virtue of being a Christian, what you're saying is I'm moving in a different direction. Repentance is an old English word which points to a change of heart, a change of mind, and a change of the will. It doesn't mean that you don't sin, but when you do, you're not gratuitous about it, you're not cavalier about it, but you're deeply convicted by your sin, and therefore you confess your sin knowing that he's faithful and just, he will forgive us our sins and then purify us from all unrighteousness. Of course, the Bible makes clear if we claim we have not sinned, we make God out to be a liar, a pretty serious word by John, and his word has no place in our hearts. So we're all sinners, and every single day I start my day in my prayer time by confessing my sin. It's not the first thing I do in my prayer, but during my prayer time, I spend time confessing my sin. And sometimes I even in my prayer time, uh, quote Psalm 51, have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgression, wash away all my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, and so forth. And the reason I do this is because I realize every single day I sin in thought, word, and deed. And the closer you get to understanding the holiness of God, the more you see your own sinfulness. I think that's why Paul could say that he is the chief of sinners. He had attained a level of relationship with the Lord that the brightness of the sun exposed the flaws and the sins in his life. And I think that's what happens. The more we get to know how holy God is, the more we see how unrighteous we are.